Good morning. As you can see, I'm back to playing with my new favorite toys. The last time we worked, we made a little um, a little journal, and this time I want to make a uh, I want to use the uh, the size and the uh, of these nice deep gussets in these uh, in these bags to uh, make a um, container for uh, for goodies. So I've been sitting here for the last ten minutes working out how I'm going to do this. In fact, I rewatched um, Rachel, who is Roxy Creations, Roxy Creations on uh, YouTube, and how she did hers, and uh, she used one bag. Probably the smart thing to do if you only want the, uh, the bag to be about this high, but I wanted the uh, extended size, so I might have, uh, I might be going down a rabbit hole, but I have twisted this and turned it and thought about it. So I think the best way to work this is going to be to take out two bags. And this is the, uh, the front because it's the nicer side. It doesn't have this fold of paper. So then I have to think about how I was going to get these so that this would be on the back because it might be clipped into a journal and I want the uh, nice side to be uh, up rather than to have it like this. And then I thought, well, if I fold up the, uh, the bottom bit here that is all of the gluing for making the bag, if I fold this one up this way and I fold that one up that way and I put them one on top of the other, I could glue them together I'm thinking I can. I'm going to really have to stop and think before I start to glue. And then uh, I can sew these two, I can sew, excuse me, I can glue these two inside gussets together. And then I would have a three pocket, nice size, uh, goodie bags and they uh, and they would open out nicely because these are nice gussets so well since this is just a paper bag and there are 50 of them in there uh, and I've only used two I'm going to uh, I'm going to plunge in and give it a try so I'm going to use the uh, uh, art glitter glue here and I want, let's see, here's where I have to get into the logistics of this. I want this. Do I want that to be stuck all the way across? Just like that. Yes, because I have to have these gussets loose. So I'm going to do up the inside and across the top. And that will give me, or should I also glue across the bottom also? Probably. Let's see what happens. I do hope your beginning of your week is turning out to be uh, a nice one. We are uh, officially in fall now. And that's happy making, especially in Florida. You can have too much of a good thing. this going. Let's get this going. There. And here. Let's set that aside for a moment. one now. If this works, then all this project leads to is um, decorating.
and still having that, uh, that very nice transparency for the, uh, for the goodies inside. thus far. Here we are thus far. Now, the gluing bit. Oh. Hmm. Glue the bottoms together too. Yes, I do. I don't want anything in that center pocket to uh, fall out the bottom. Let me make sure that this uh, now. Because of that, uh, that wax, yes, I wouldn't be surprised. But we're going to have to uh, work around that situation. So we have uh, this one, and hopefully we'll have this one, which is open down in there. Good. So, now we have to apply some glue. Right in there. Don't I? Yes. Right in there. Well, fingers crossed that this works. And side that's a little bit off. They both are actually, but I don't think I'm going to uh, get too particularly crazy on that subject. Oh my. That's going to annoy me. And I'm going to fight that annoyance. I really am. Not so much. That was a fib. Okay. There we go. Now, glue here. Glue there. And and it worked. It actually did. Of course, there's just a little bit of a problem there, but the sides, but the sides are right. So I'm going to trim off the top and make that straight, and then I'm going to have to stop because I hear uh, I hear guests at the front door, and uh, I will be back uh, ASAP down straight. Let's get that taken right off there. And the 
one semi-transparent and three-way bag. I will be back in a bit. Oh, I am so happy to be back with you. I stopped yesterday at about 10.30 in the morning, and today it's Tuesday and 1.30, 1 .30 in the afternoon, and I'm finally back, and I am so happy, and I'm so sorry that I missed my um, Tuesday morning video, but it was just one thing after another from yesterday morning until a half an hour ago. Life just invaded my studio, so I had to really talk to myself about that because I was, uh, I was not tickled with that, but what I did do was um, go through my uh, go through my stash here, and I found um, uh, two bits uh, that I thought uh, might be fun to turn into uh, uh, journaling spots, and I also wanted to see what uh, what something in here was going to look like. So here it is, it's showing off, and then whoopsie Daisy, let's close the door here, Carol. Okay. It's closed. Um, so this one is here, and then I made this one for the back. Uh, I used a piece of uh, cardstock from a tablet, and then I put my lines on with my handy-dandy uh, magical line maker, and uh, used my uh, Tim Holtz and uh, Hickory Smoke to uh, For the back one, I haven't decided yet what is going to go uh, in the middle, but I'm working now. I want to work on um, front and back. I picked out these bits um, for the front. Uh, I'm going to. This is going to be the front, at least in my mind, so that uh, I didn't mind uh, a few layers more than I would have put, uh, and a little bit of lace here and uh, some uh, white cheesecloth. And then on the back, I picked some things because I want that to be, uh, not to have as even this much depth. But, let's begin. Let me start to play. And I thought that this would... Uh, this would work quite nicely, just underneath, maybe over to the side. I am a, uh, I'm a definite sidewinder. This is um, a piece of the leftover from uh, uh, Rachel at Roxy Creation, her beautiful, her beautiful uh, lace digi. And I thought I would just have some of this. Here. And I also got out a piece of this and then I just realized it kind of looks like that stencil. It isn't, but this was from um, uh, Glimmer Mist in my spray box and I must do some spraying. I uh, I just love to do it. As you must know by now, not so much with the uh, not so much with coffee and tea dyeing. Well, truth to tell, I really I would run away forcefully if I could get uh, that opportunity. Now, uh, I think I'm going to uh, distress those two. Do I want this? Yes, I think I do want that. Yes, I think I want that. I love that really tiny, tiny dictionary page softness under there. Yes, okay. So, this, this, and this. Uh, let's, uh, let me get this. I want to get this uh, cheesecloth down first. First I do. Now I'm 
continuing to be happy with the little bit of acetone, the uh, two drops uh, that my husband said he added to this. And I think I'm quite tickled because it, uh, it seems to behave itself better. Oh, I do love it, so I can, we, we all kind of tolerate its uh, idiosyncrasies, but it's wonderful. It's wonderful glue. So this will be just a tack down. And this was next. And I want to use a little of this uh, hickory smoke. going to turn that? I have no idea, but I am. Yes, I am. And then this one. Not too much. Tilt. A little bit of tilt. Now, do I really? Do I really? Let's see. Maybe here. this, maybe here, that there, could be, could be. Let's get this one next. Where is it? There it is. This is such, such fine dictionary paper that uh, I didn't want to take any chances. So far, so good. So far, so good. This one. Every bit of paper does not need to be distressed. I have learned that while admiring Rachel's uh, Rachel Rachel's work on uh, YouTube. She's Roxy Creations. Mm hmm. Right there. And right there. No, 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 right there. Better. Okay, you're next. Right side. Wrong side. Right side. Okay. all of you have found the uh, value of these uh, of this artist glitter glue with this beautiful fine 
with this beautiful fine tip for lace. Tiny little dots just do the trick. Just a nice bit of white on the front. I don't know what it is about white. I just uh, I dream about uh, white ephemera and collage. It's uh, it's really something. And here come the holidays and the fall and all of those beautiful colors. And I'm all about white right now. Oh well. be called the, uh, the front. Now, back here. And of course, and of course, that side also. So, I didn't get out as much for this bit, because I, I said I didn't want to put quite as much on there. Let's see what I have here. Oh, I have stuff stuff. Isn't that nice? Okay. I hope I don't have to stop. I hear that lawnmower going. I thought they were moving away, but I think not. And this, of course, is a piece of jobs. I'll be back. Well, silence reigns again. Thank heavens. Now, here we have the uh, the front, and I went and got out the uh, the little journal that I had built using um, this uh, wax paper uh, sandwich ba uh, bag as a, uh, a cover, and I wanted to check to see if that center, if that center would hold anything that size, which is not quite as tall as the uh, as the bag, width-wise. And so I gave it a check, and there it is. So this is definitely in the category of uh, food for thought. Now, I'm going to set this aside because uh, while listening to the lawnmowers, I uh, inserted and glued in these uh, two bits because this was open on the bottom. And I glued it closed then and, of course, added a little of my uh, hickory smoke. So I thought that I might use some of the same stencil that I used on the front and embellish that just a little bit with some uh, with some hickory smoke here. And let's see. All righty. Just a tiniest little bit on the uh, on here, but that doesn't seem to be uh, upsetting me at all. So let's just add some. 
across the bottom here. And, okay, so now that bit is finished. Now let's see about, oh, isn't that pretty? I just, I don't want to give you my, uh, my sermon again. Now, uh, this one is on the left, and this one's on the left, and this one, and this one. Yes, this is correct. So, I thought I'd put that there. Then I had some, uh, some bits out, and I'm going to use them just because they, you know, I picked them. So this one is definitely a little bit of a flower, which works. It's flat. Do I need, do I want to, um, do I want to do anything with that? Let's just do the tiniest bit that I can possibly think of. And how about right there? Yes. Um, possibility of not being able to have my uh, my usual Tuesday ready for you made me uh, made me again realize how very much I value having you in my uh, in my world just it's just absolutely absolutely wonderful and I I'm so thankful for all of you particularly for those of you who uh, take the time to uh, comment on a regular basis. And uh, you know who you are. I just, uh, I just want to thank you again. I'll have that there. Maybe this little bit down in here. I think I like that. I'll put that little bit down in there. And this is a piece of my uh, digital, my uh, vintage fabric digi. Or not. going to be next. Whoopsie daisy. Next up. One of my uh, subbies has invited me to do a swap, and I uh, I think it would be great fun. So I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to start working on it this week. I'm so happy because I get the fun of creating. You get to uh, you get to share. My lovely subby. I'm not happy here at all. What is going on here? Oh yes, waxed paper. Okay. Waxed paper. Waxed paper. Okay. Get over this, Carol. Let's see if anything funny happened. Oh my my, it's not even there. Let's see if anything happened here. No. Okay. So Let's go again. I'm glad that I noticed before I picked it up and it all fell off. Not fun. So, let's go to this one because this is heavy. Heavier paper.
this is going to be here. And you are next. Let's get this writing down in here. And finally, this Now, these that have been in my uh, in my good body for quite a while. here. These are settling in. While those are settling in, let's do a little bit of the Sharpie for center. not a terribly wonderful thing for me to start because it gets to be uh, gets to be quite impossible for me not to uh, put grow lines. you have enjoyed this uh, much interrupted 
video, I would appreciate your giving me a, uh, a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and and sharing with a friend. And I would also appreciate your subscribing to my channel. That was just a nexus necessary little fix and I think the reason that came up because it was uh, you who so let's have a little close-up look here we have our uh, journaling card inside. Now that may or may not stay. But we have our front and our lovely waxed paper bag doing so well. And here this is showing itself nicely through here. And the, uh, the embellishment on the black on the back which might or might not be showing very much but thank you for joining me I'll be back soon when I'm going to be starting working on uh, a swap bye now <coughs> excuse me bye now <laughs>